this time I am doing a tutorial on like how to like play FNF mods on your school computer without having to have a verified uh, thing. So okay, so basically what you want to do, this works like with actually any game that has a Mac port. If it doesn't, if it's like a Windows or Linux port, then it doesn't work. But basically, you want to type in any like okay, so I type in this website called FNF. Okay, so basically I just type in FNF Mac ports. Then I go to this Game Jolt page. The link will be in this in the description above, or no below. <laughs> Why did I say above? A bit below. But um, yeah, basically this is all mods that have Mac ports. And basically you want to download what you want, whatever you want you want. For example, I want to download Funkin for Bikini Bottom, and hit download. Then um, gonna wait for the download thing now. Depending on the size of the game, it might take, like, a little while to, um, like, you know, download. So, I'm gonna cut this part out right here, and then once it's on downloading, then I will, um, you know, fucking show you the rest of the tutorial, whatever. Okay, I am back now. Um, I had to let this download. It didn't really take that long. It just took, like, maybe, like, a minute or two. Alright, so now we have the thing downloaded. Now we're going to click on it. Do that. Now, this is like the little application that you'll be playing. So first, you're going to make a new folder. Just name it whatever you want. Just type in... Uh, fucking... Goofy, uh... Then you want to... Oop, then you're going to click... Right-click. Then, see where it shows show package contents? Click that. Then this was content. This is basically like the assets and files and stuff. So then you're gonna drag that to here, the file right here. Then you're gonna run. Hold on, let me close out of all of this. We don't need this anymore, so you can just throw in trash if you want. So then you're gonna rename it. Well, I already have it renamed, but if you don't, if you don't have it renamed it yet, then rename it. But we're gonna put dot. Oh wait, crap. Goofy <laughs> up, whatever. And you put dot app next to it you have to put dot app because if you don't then it won't work then you'll click it then hit enter then it will ask you this question are you sure you want to add the add extension dot app to the end of the name this is basically asking do you want to add the name dot app next to it just hit add then click on it and bam it works so uh thanks uh not why i say thanks but yeah, that's the uh, tutorial. Yeah.